first we're going to chop up some tomatoes. I'm using two and that's going to make a whole lot. We're going to chop them up really small. Kind of like you're making salsa. Next we're going to chop up three jalapeno peppers. I'm going to cut up a red onion. This is not quite a half of a red onion. It's almost a half. So everything we just cut, we're going to mix it all together in a big bowl and we're going to set it aside for later. We're also going to need shredded cheese and shredded lettuce. I prefer to buy a head of lettuce and shred it myself because it's cheaper that way. Those paper towels that you saw, I was just drying off the lettuce because I just cleaned it. You can use whatever kind of fish you like. I am using swai because it's very light and it is not, it doesn't have a very fishy taste, but you can use whatever kind you like. Right now, I am applying extra virgin olive oil and I am going to season it with Cajun seasoning and black pepper. And I apply everything to both sides of the fish. Excuse my burnt up pan, y'all. It's old, but it still serves its purpose. But yeah, I'm going to. Put the fish in a pan and bake it at 425 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Now I am going to prepare the shrimp. This is raw shrimp with the shell on. So now you just want to peel it off. Peel off the shell and the tail and the legs and everything. And once I'm done peeling it, I like to give it a good rinse under cold water. And then I'm going to season it the exact same way I did the fish with extra virgin olive oil, Cajun seasoning, and black pepper. Now it's time to cook it. Okay, the shrimp is done and also our fish is done. The fish I'm going to cut up so it can fit into the shell easily. And now I'm going to add the shrimp to the same plate. And now it is time to prepare our shells. You can use whatever shell you like. Um, my favorite is hard shell. I love crunchy tacos. So for this video, I'm going to use the hard shell tacos. I'm also going to use corn tortillas. Okay, this is everything you're going to need for your tacos, minus the sauce. And here's the fish and the shrimp. And now it's time to put it all together. You don't have to use as much as I'm using. I just like for my tacos to be stuffed because I'm greedy like that. But yes, use as little or as much as you like. For the sauce, I'm using Pico Pico, real Mexican style hot sauce. It is so delicious and it is very spicy. And there you have it, fish and shrimp tacos. And as always, I hope you try it, enjoy it, and thank you so much for watching.